If you are looking for the ultimate spicy chicken stir fry, this Kung Pao chicken recipe is everything a spicy food lover could ever desire. Let me show you how to make it. All right, first thing we wanna do is marinate our chicken. So to get that going, I have two teaspoons of cornstarch. Set it into a bowl here. And I have a tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of rice wine. So go ahead and just whisk this together to uh, create a real simple slurry. And I have chicken here. I have a pound of uh, boneless chopped chicken. I cut it to bite size. And you can use chicken breast or chicken thigh. Uh, today I have a combination. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the bowl. Set aside. And just kinda get it all mixed together. Make sure everything's nice, evenly coated. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and then we'll, uh, we'll make our sauce. The Kung Pao sauce is very easy to make. It's uh, just whisking a bunch of ingredients together. So here I have two tablespoons of light soy sauce and a tablespoon of dark soy sauce, which is like a, a thicker, richer soy sauce. And I have a teaspoon of a, a Chinese black vinegar. Uh, you can use balsamic vinegar as well. And I have a couple tablespoons of hoisin sauce. It's kind of thick. Into the bowl. And I have a teaspoon of sesame oil. I like to use a hot sesame oil, but you can use uh, your favorite. And I have a teaspoon of honey. Nice thick honey, adds a little touch of sweetness. And I have about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of some ground Sichuan peppercorns. The, uh, the Sichuan peppercorns are uh, very unique. They're not exactly, uh, actually they're not like black peppercorns at all. Um, I like to grind them myself after lightly toasting them, um, but they add a nice little, uh, like a numbness to it. So if you're, if you're not used to cooking with them, you can omit them, but they're outstanding. I really think you should try it. Excellent for spicy food lovers. And I have a teaspoon of spicy chili flake, some red chili flake. And go ahead and whisk it all together until it's nicely mixed and uniform. Like so, very easy, very easy. And we'll set it aside and get cooking. All right, let's make some spicy Kung Pao chicken, my friends. I have a wok heated up to a good medium high, close to high heat. And I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil. And uh, you can use sesame oil is good for this. Uh, more of a neutral oil is good. Get that nice and hot. And we're uh, gonna add our spicy chili peppers. This is the heat factor right here. So I have some dried pods and I have some fresh pods and I'll talk about that as they're cooking. So we're really gonna cook these down, stir frying for uh, about a minute. And uh, ideally, this recipe would use some uh, spicy Chinese peppers, some dried Chinese pods, and some fresh Chinese pods. But today, I'm using chili de arbol, which are easier for me to find, and some uh, uh, fresh peppers that I grew in my garden, particularly serranos and some ahis. But uh, you know, you can really use your, your favorites, whatever you can get that's available to you. So all right, cook these down for about a minute or so, stir frying, keep stirring. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken, my marinated chicken, add that to the pan. And we're gonna stir fry this for about three minutes until the chicken is uh, mostly cooked through. And then we will continue. All right, chicken is looking good here, mostly cooked through. So next go ahead and add your garlic and scallions, fresh garlic. I have about three or four cloves of uh, minced garlic. And you can add more if you like, gorgeous garlic and about four scallions that I chopped into the pan and give them a quick stir fry. With this recipe, you wanna be constantly, constantly stirring the stir fry. Keep going, about a minute here and you can smell that gorgeous garlic blooming in the room, I love it. Deliciousness. And I have a half a cup of chopped roasted peanuts and my reserved sauce that we made earlier, the Kung Pao sauce. Go ahead and add that to your pan. And we're gonna stir cooking for about a minute or so until everything's nicely incorporated and your chicken finishes cooking all the way through. 
And look at that. Oh, look at that. It's already thickening up deliciously. It looks amazing. Um, isn't this a really fast recipe? It cooks up super quick. If you get your pan nice and screaming hot, then everything's gonna cook up beautifully, quickly, very easy to make. Hey, a good variation on Kung Pao chicken, you can add some good vegetables to this recipe. Um, add some broccoli or snap peas or uh, some large sliced red bell peppers to really kind of round out the meal and make it a, a little bit more of a full meal. Uh, so many ways you can really add to this, make it awesome. Kung Pao chicken, my friends. Serve it up with some white rice, some uh, cooked noodles, pretty much awesome either way. So, uh, hey, if you're looking for another really spicy chicken recipe, Chinese flavors, um, I've got a couple recipes you wanna try. It's a Szechuan chicken and also a bourbon chicken, which is really awesome. Both pretty similar, nice and spicy, and I'll cue both of those up uh, in a little bit so you can check those out. But uh, hey, if you guys love these recipes as much as I do, I'd love to hear your comments. Leave it a like, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Take it easy, guys, bye. Kung Pao chicken, let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Nice and spicy, I love it.